Tampa Mayor Jane Castor announced a long-range climate change action plan today. That plan includes new requirements for city buildings, infrastructure, and the energy use for the city. The plan outlines more than 140 initiatives to create more resilient buildings and to increase solar energy use in the city. Jeff Patterson has that story. It's beautiful to be on the water, but Tampa Mayor Jane Castor says sea level rise is here, and this is her plan to deal with it. Climate change can involve more rain, stronger hurricanes, and sea level rise, something Tampa's sustainability and resilience officer says is already here. St. Pete tide gauge has shown about eight inches of sea level rise already since 1940. And Whit Reamer with the city of Tampa says it could get much worse. Our projections show between two and eight feet of sea level rise by 2100. With that in mind, Tampa Mayor Jane Castor announced her climate action and equity plan today. And it really is reaching the stages of being uh, critical. The plan calls for, among other things, more solar energy mm -hmm. for city buildings, road designs, and water projects with climate change in mind. We have to ensure that our buildings, our roads, our other infrastructure are all designed with sustainability in mind. What Reamer says it's a balancing act. We have a lot of challenges ahead at designing this infrastructure in a way that we're not overspending, over designing, but we're doing so in a way that we're keeping up with the best science that's available to us. Some of the design and build plans in this climate action and equity plan have financial incentives from the federal government. Coming up at 5.30, we'll hear what Congresswoman Kathy Castor has to say about that. <clears throat>